Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, we'll discuss the first problem of uh, lead code weekly contest 293. Uh, the problem name is find resultant array after removing anagrams. It's an easy level problem. Uh, so the problem says that we are given a zero indexed uh, string array words where words of i consist of lower case English characters. So we have an array of uh, some words. Now in one operation, we can select a particular index and then if words of i minus 1 and words of i are anagrams then we need to delete the second word that means words of i uh, from the given array now we need to keep performing this operation as long as we can select an index that satisfies the condition uh, we need to return words after performing all operations and now it can be shown that selecting the indices for each operations in any arbitrary order will lead to the same result uh, now let's see what an anagram is so an anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a word uh, or phrase using the original letters exactly once uh, for example dacb is an anagram of abcd so that means two strings are anagrams if the frequency of each character is equal in both the strings it's just that the orders are rearranged if uh, uh, orders of the characters are rearranged uh, so like when we see the examples so we are given an array words and uh, we see here that uh, the first word that is a b b a and b a b a are anagrams because the frequency of a in the first string is 2 and the frequency of uh, a in second string is also 2 similarly the frequency of b in the first string is 2 and frequency of b in the second string is also 2 so uh, there are two characters in the first string that is a and b and similar is the case in the second string and frequency of both the characters are equal in both of these strings so these two are anagrams so that means we have selected an index this word and this word is selected so all we will do is that we will delete b a b a that is the second string now the rearranged array will be this the first string the third uh, the uh, the fourth and the fifth word so now we'll compare a b b a with b b a a now again these two are also anagrams because you know uh, the, the in the in the in this string again the frequency of b is 2 and frequency of a is also 2 so these two are anagrams so we remove b b a a as well so now the new strings become uh, a b b a c d and c d now when we compare a b b a with c d these two are not anagrams However, when it, when we compare this CD with this CD, these two are anagrams, so we, so we remove the second CD and finally we get the output as A, B, B, A, C, D. Uh, if we see the explanation, then we see, then we can see that uh, words of 2 is B, B, A and words of 1 is B, A, B, A. These are anagrams, so we, ch we chose index 2 and we deleted it. So the array becomes A, B, B, A, B, A, B, A, C, D, C, D. Now, when we discussed, we, we first took the first two words, it is given in the question that it is irrespective of uh, the order in which you choose the indices, the result will always be the same. So we get a new array. Now again, we select these two things, these two words, and again, the second word will be deleted. So it's B, A, B, A. Now the new array uh, is A, B, B, A, C, D, C, D. Now again, we select C, D. So th amongst these two, the second one is deleted. So we have our final answer. If we look into the second example, then we have A, B, C, D, E. We can see that no adjacent strings in the words are anagrams. So, no, not even a single operation can be performed. So, we, we get the same array as the output. Uh, the constraints are uh, the number of words that we can have is uh, 100 and the length of each word is 10. Uh, words of I consist of uh, lower English case characters. So, uh, let's see how we can approach this problem. We need to consider two consecutive words at a particular point of time so what we can do is that suppose this is the array this is the array that we have this is the array and we choose one word suppose we choose the first word now all we need to do is that obviously this word cannot be compared here right so we will we'll keep we'll keep this word now when we move to the second index if if this is an anagram of this one so we will remove this the second string right so if the first and second are anagram so we remove the second one now the new array will not have the second word now what we'll do we move to the third index 
which is the second index in the new array we again compare if this particular string is an anagram of the first string we again remove this string right so again we get a new array with this is the first word this is the second this is the third and this is the fourth word now again we compared the second word with the last word that we have now what is the last word that is this is the first index that is the first word in the original array we compare it now again if these two are anagrams then we'll delete the second one as we'll keep it so we'll have one two three and four then we compare three with two that means this word with this word because we already compared these two adjacent words the second one and the first one now we compared the third one and the second one if these two are anagrams we delete three we move forward if four and two are anagrams then we delete four and we get the result the second possibility could have been uh, that two and three were not anagrams so we would have compared four with three and if these two were anagrams we would have, we would have deleted four we would have kept three so again a basic i would say implementation based problem uh, how we can approach is that we can see that at every at any particular point of time we need to compare two adjacent strings so it's a typical case of a stack it's a typical case of a stack what we'll do is that we we put the first word we put the first word in the stack now as soon as we get the second word we start traversing the array we start traversing the array and since the array is empty we put the first word in the stack when we come to the second word we see whether this particular word is an anagram of the word that is on the top of the stack or not now we have first word on the top of the stack if these two are anagrams we skip it we remove it now we move to the second word if this word is an anagram of the word which is present on the top of the stack then we remove it however if it is not an anagram of the word on the top we just push it onto the stack now this becomes the new top now again we move forward we compare this word uh, the fourth word the fourth word with the top of the stack if these two are anagrams we skip four otherwise we push four as well in the stack and so on finally we will have the stack which will contain only the words which are not anagram to their adjacent words we just need to we just need to convert this into a list and we are good to go now to to see whether two words are anagram or not for example s1 and s2 are anagram or not we take a frequency array we take a frequency array and the size of the array is 26 the size of the array is 26 and it represents that what is the frequency of a what is the frequency of b c d d to small z so for all the 26 characters we, we see what is the frequency of each character in that particular string we, we just calculate it and we use an internal function whether these two arrays are equal or not if these two arrays are equal then these two words are anagrams so based on this logic we will we'll see whether two words are anagrams or not now let's jump jump into the code so yeah this is the main function uh, this is the answer variable that we have declared uh, this is the frequency array that we were talking about so n is the number of words that we have and 26 is the number of possible characters that we can have different characters it can be a to z now we take a stack uh, the stack will have integer uh, so instead of pushing the string we push the index of the string uh, so that the computation is easy because we can just compare it with uh, with the frequency array so we start we, we start traversing uh, we calculate the frequency of i that is frequency of the ith word we call this function and it's a simple function that calculates the frequency of each and every character it returns the array we assign it and we check whether if it's, if a stack is not empty and both the arrays are equal then it's an anagram so just continue don't add it to the to, to our stack else add the correct index to the stack now why we have used an integer you can see here what we have done is that we have we have done frequency of s dot peak now this will give us the index that we have pushed so we'll just compare the uh, frequency arrays directly and this is frequency of i so frequency of the top of stack and frequency of the current word that we are seeing if these two are equal uh, then don't add don't add the current word onto the stack now once this loop is over uh, all we do is that we traverse the stack and uh, we all add all the words in, in the in our answer in our list and we reverse the list because uh, we'll be uh, fetching the elements from the top uh, of the stack but we'll need we need to return that in order so 
we just reverse it and we uh, return the answer so yeah hope you learned something new from this video uh, please do support it by giving up a thumbs up and do add into the comments if you have any queries uh, see you in the next video bye bye